it's pretty hard to sweep in this league. So four in a row this weekend, nine in a row overall. What did you learn about your team through this four game sweep? Yeah, man, our, our guys are competing at a really high level right now. You know, we've we, we've put together a really, I don't know, it's been an impressive run. Uh, the Probably the most impressive tidbit of the whole nine game win streak here is we've came from behind seven times. Not drastically, but, you know, middle of the game, down one, two, three, four runs. Um, you know, this weekend, if you look at it, it was just a, it was a really good baseball weekend. They're a talented team. Um, they came in with the highest DR or the, the lowest DRA in our league. Um, I thought our guys put together some really good at bats, really, from the first inning on Friday night all the way through yesterday's ninth, eighth inning, I guess. Um, so, yeah, so real proud of the way. You know, I think they've got that feeling right now that, that we're going to find a way to win. And, and I think that's something that, that we've been trying to get to over the last two, three years. And uh, this group's, they've kind of got it going at the moment. We played really well. Uh, the pitchers threw really well. You know, I think uh, when you look back at the whole weekend, it was just a really clean weekend of baseball, which we've been wanting to play. And um, yeah, it's always good to find a way to win four of them uh, against a team that's really talented in Lamar. How is the team kind of? Handling this this win streak, I saw the video uh, shot after the game. They were so fired up after the win, four game series. Mm -hmm. Is it kind of adding to the motivation to kind of keep going up the, the conference standings for them? Yeah, I'm sure for sure. You know, I think again, we our message is 0 and 0 each week, and and, and I think that's. When you, when you think of player development, program development, you, if you get caught in the highs and lows of, of wins and losses, man, it just sets you up for an inconsistent season. So our guys have stayed grounded throughout the whole thing. You know, the Texas weekend, we got shocked and certainly got knocked down, but they responded real well. You know, we've put together a couple good weekends now, so now they get to handle that. And, and, and you know, that's certainly a challenge sometimes with 18 to 21 year olds for me as a 41 year old coach. but. Um, I think they've handled it really, really well. And um, hopefully, you know, when you look back, last week was such a, so many things going on. We had finals last week. We had graduation ceremonies on Friday and Saturday. Um, you know, you got the four game weekend. You've got Mother's Day. It was just a lot going on. I thought they handled it really well. Uh, softball, punching their ticket to the tournament. Just, it was a really fun weekend here in Abilene. Uh, really nice crowds all weekend. The weather was great. So uh, I hope we're, we're catching fire and trending at the right time. And um, yeah, we left the field Sunday feeling really good, but they're in the weight room right now, probably uh, starting the week off on a good note. And then uh, this weekend, facing a team that's in the upper half, and Sam, we were just talking about how good some of their batters are. Mm -hmm. How important is this weekend and what kind of series do you expect? Yeah, so Sam was preseason number one in our league. Uh, they're certainly going to be talented. Uh, they've got a first-round hitter in their lineup. They've got another couple uh, preseason all-conference guys in their rotation uh, and in their lineup. So from a, a talent standpoint, um, this will be a challenging weekend. I think Sam's a really good place to play. It's a good environment. Uh, they've got a really nice facility down there. So we're looking forward to it. We'll drive down to Huntsville on Thursday, get a workout in there on Thursday evening. and. Um, yeah, we'll tee it up, man. Another four-game weekend. We've got eight left, uh, four down there. Then we'll come back here and play Stephen F. Austin the next weekend. So uh, hopefully we can continue just to play quality baseball. Hopefully the wins will take care of themselves if that happens. Coach, uh, just kind of playing off of Noah. You know, you're playing some really good baseball right now. I got a win streak going, looking like you're definitely going to make the uh, Southland tournament. I mean, there never, never really was a time this year where I was like, this team needs to improve. But I mean. Right now, you mm -hmm. definitely have improved. Just how good is this team right now, and how much have you, how long have the way have you come so far? Yeah, I think you're starting to see some younger guys get comfortable. Uh, a lot of the pitchers have kind of settled into their roles. Um, we've learned some things throughout the year. I think I touched on that early on. It's just really hard with so many new young players to really to plug it in. Hey, this guy can do this, and this handles this situation better than others. But I think we figure that out, and they're starting to get comfortable in a lot of ways. We don't have it figured out by any means, and some things will change as we navigate the rest of the way. But some guys are performing really well in their role, you know, whether that's a defensive replacement at the end or a relief pitcher or a starting pitcher or leading off or hitting ninth. You know, I think a lot of them are just kind of understanding what a routine looks like. And, um, it starts with strikes. You know, there was a point where some inconsistency on the mound kind of pinned us down there early to middle of the year. Um, again, some guys have, you know, whether it's a pitch, a pitch usage or a role change, you know, they've really bought into what they're doing now. So it's got us in a good place. And again, I think we're talented enough when we play clean, we're going to have a chance to win a lot of ball games. 
uh, just like anyone else at our level, when you don't play clean and you walk and create innings for other teams, it becomes more difficult to win them. So uh, that's probably where I'm most proud of the adjustment, the growing up. Um, certainly have a long, long way to go with that, but, but we're trending in the right direction. And it's, it's good to see, and the guys are starting to have some confidence behind themselves now.